there's a brand new challenger, challenging the Steam Deck hegemony, the Zotac Zone. On the onset, it looks like any other PC handheld, but it has something that very few devices have, dual trackpads, much like the Steam Deck. We'll get to those in a bit, but let's talk about the basics first. The specs are very similar to other PC handhelds. It's powered by Ryzen 7 8840U. It's got 16 gigs of LPDDR5X memory. It's got a 48.5 watt hour battery, which is slightly smaller than that of the Steam Deck OLED. It has a full size 2280 sized NVMe slot, allowing to fit higher capacity SSDs if so desired. While specs are very important, it's also the least interesting stuff to talk about. Let's talk about what makes this device unique. For example, the display. The display is a 7 inch 1080p panel, but it's an AMOLED display. Neither ASUS nor Lenovo are using OLED displays in their handhelds at all. And an OLED display is a pretty big step up, so this might be one of the best screens we see on a PC handheld to date. The zone features a full complement of controls, but both the thumbsticks and the triggers are Hall Effect, meaning that they should last a lot longer. You can also set your triggers to be hair triggers if so desired. And there's only one set of back buttons. The D-pad's an interesting design. I don't know if this D-pad's gonna be any good, but looks can be deceiving. You know, I thought the Legion Go's D-pad would be great for fighting games, but it turned out to be anything but in my opinion. Start, select, and the various system buttons are in reasonable positions. And yes, as stated before, there are trackpads. These trackpads do look quite low, perhaps maybe a little too low for comfort. It's cool that the trackpads are there, but the demo unit apparently didn't have functional trackpads. They disabled them for some reason. What I wanna know is if these trackpads are half as functional as the Steam Deck's trackpads, because we've seen a lot of trackpads on other devices. We've seen them on the Aya Nia Kun, which has dual trackpads as well. But the Aya Nia Kun's trackpads don't function anything like the Steam Deck's trackpads. It's a glorified mouse. If Zotac can get this working with Steam input, then we might have a killer device on our hands. What is killer though is the size and potentially even weight of this device. It's quite a big device, and it's bigger than the Legion Go. And to be honest, the Legion Go was already a very big device. It also has a kickstand and a front-facing camera for Windows Hello. It's also got a UHS-2 microSD card slot, as well as a top and bottom USB 4 ports. Man, I really wish I could go to Computex. I'd be able to try out all this cool stuff, but I didn't. It sounds cool on paper, and it sounds like everything a PC handheld should be. It's even got trackpads as well. But my biggest question, of course, is ergonomics. I consider myself a D-pad aficionado, and while I could play basically any fighting game with any D-pad, I would prefer a better D-pad. This D-pad raises a lot of questions. Will it be good for 2D games? Will it be good for platformers, fighting games? Or is it just going to be good for like selecting weapons and stuff in an FPS? I don't know. Another thing we don't know about is of course the trackpads. We know nothing about the trackpads besides the fact that they just kind of exist. And because they weren't functional in the demo unit, we don't know anything about how they function. People say trackpads would be useful for Windows because you can mess around and stuff, but these are touchscreen devices. You can do that with a touchscreen. A lot of people seem to misunderstand why the Steam Deck's trackpads are so great. It's not because it's a mousing option, it's because you can customize it to your liking. Steam input allows the trackpads to be used for more than just mousing. The Steam Deck's trackpads can be used for a litany of different controllers options. Personal opinion, if you can't get your trackpads to work with Steam input, then you may as well just not put them in, period. The main reason why this is of interest is because this is yet another big player entering the market. I don't know that much about Zotac, the only Zotac product I know anything about, to be honest, is the old Steam machine they made back in the day. I heard it was pretty good, but it was also a Steam machine, so yeah, there's that to consider. Reports suggest that this will launch for $800. You know what else is $800? The ROG Ally X, and it's got double the battery life compared to this bad boy. For what it's worth, the Zone does have a lot going for it, but it's going to be a bit of a hard sell. It's more expensive, it's bigger, and it doesn't even have that much battery life. Not to mention they've added features that seemingly no one asked for, like a front-facing camera. And no one really knows how the trackpads perform. That's like the one thing I want to know about. Whatever the case is, hopefully we'll see more of it soon. 
If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech low life, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.